So Bristol's a really green city. It's very beautiful. It prides itself on its legacy of uh, being a European green capital. But like local authorities up and down the country, it's really, really struggling to fund non-statutory services like tree planting and tree maintenance. The Woodland Trust has been working with Bristol City Council, the Bristol Tree Forum and the Forest of Avon Trust to really develop a strategy and get some support for that really ambitious vision to double the canopy cover across the city by 2050. I'm really pleased that we're going to be working with our partners, the Woodland Trust, uh, Forest of Avon Trust and of course the Bristol Tree Forum on developing a tree strategy for the city. The citizens of Bristol, you know, love their parks and green spaces, but what's really great is that we now have an established Parks Foundation in conjunction with the, the, the Parks Forum and others. Well, it's fantastic that here in Bristol we're doing an iTree Bristol survey. What we're doing is 200 survey plots across the city that are randomly generated. It could be anywhere. And all that information collected by volunteers feeds into this study that's going to produce some really powerful results about the value of Bristol's trees to its people. One of the first things that we did was work on a public facing campaign which was all about just getting people to look up and get people to appreciate the beautiful urban canopy and the huge range of benefits that it offers across a range of policy areas such as reducing air pollution and promoting health and well-being. And so we did a Talking Trees Bristol a project which was a social media project just really getting people to get involved, getting people to plant a tree, to sponsor a tree, to volunteer just to take a little time to look around and really appreciate the beautiful urban canopy that we have in Bristol. Mm -hmm.